Welcome back to Flexfield Race. We're flipping a car for Movember. And here it is, in all its glory. So as you can see, we bought an NC MX-5 and we'll show you around the car in a second. Um, but profits made from flipping this car are going to be donated to the Movember charity. For those of you who don't know what Movember is, it's bringing awareness to men's health, not just mental health, but also to testicular cancer and other forms of cancer. So it's a great cause. It's an annual event every November. And uh, the way that we represent that is by growing the old stash out. So if you want to get involved, you can one, grow a moustache to raise awareness. Um, two, we're also gonna have a link to our page in the bio of this video and on our TikTok. Or if you wanna get something out of it, you go down to local Bunnings and pick up a Movember hoodie, which is perfect for this weather. Yeah, I don't know why they did a hoodie, a t-shirt would have been awesome, because I wanna wear it out and about, but it's way too hot. But um, yeah, if you wanna get one in preparation for winter in seven months. Yeah, great calls, get involved, um, and we'll show you around box let's get into it you. um so yeah ncmx5 they're a two liter that's all i know about them uh double overhead cam 16 valve is that what it says on it yep yeah, yeah good nice. job i actually didn't do this when i looked at the car but <laughs> all right sweet got this from one of my one of our football teammates um so shout out to adam thanks for hooking us up with the car it's got the tan leather interior which a lot of you might hate but this is actually the higher spec interior it's got like heated obviously leather seats um and that carry on i don't think it looks too bad but if they were black leather it would be a lot nicer i reckon it just needs a good old clean too. yeah it's dirty as hell i did ask him not to clean it before i bought it as well um because he seems like the type of guy that would you know kind of how luke is like clean a car for you before you pick it up i was like oh please don't clean it um he would have been like heck yeah <laughs> yeah yeah he's like oh do you want me to take it for a thrash down the gravel road for you then you go. <laughs> i was like if you want one last hurrah in it um so yeah i picked this up a couple oh, i picked this up yesterday um and yeah at first the noise in the engine was only at a certain rpm but then after i bought it i went for a drive on it to do some bearings and stuff and it started getting worse so let's just show you that sound now with Aaron to do the honours you'll need to jump in you can hear that well enough it'll probably actually be really loud on video um there is a quite concerning noise in there as you can hear it's not all the time so fingers toes and everything across it's not rodding off because if it was rodding off you'd probably hear it all the time uh it seems to get worse when it's warm three things it could be is the accessory belt tensioner and pulley which i've seen a guy on youtube said he had the same issue um Unfortunately, it's not that. I've already tested that by just dropping the belt off and starting it. The noise is still there, so it's not those. Uh, so that leads me to believe it's either the VVT solenoid, which is a really common on these, but that's usually when it fires up, you can hear it on startup. And as you heard then, when Aaron started up, there was no noise until he gave it a bit of revs. So I'm thinking it's probably the chain. It's maybe like a chain guide or something's broken down in there. And at first I thought it was a VVT solenoid. Um, but after buying, buying it, kind of came to the conclusion it might be the chain. Um, but yeah, it's still, <clears throat> still not a huge deal, just got to pull the whole front of the engine down a bit, which is a bit more involved than just doing the VVT solenoid, which is this guy on top. Um, so yeah, after we do this walk around, Aaron's going to bugger off, I think, and Sam and I might try and pull the cover off to inspect what's wrong with it. Yeah, other than that, it seems like a really decent car um, from the day I've been driving it I really enjoy it kind of wish I could keep it but I've already said I'm donating profits to charity so got to sell it to get those profits um, 
what else can we say about it? As you saw on the interior, it's a six-speed manual. Uh, it's got an LSD. Don't, don't ask know me if how they know. saw that, but... That's not reverse. That's six <laughs> But yeah, it needs a really good clean and a polish, so we'll um, do a detailing video on it. The sticky oh, mate, shit on the dash. Yeah, four cup holders, that. Suck out. Wait, four? Oh, shit. Two in the middle, two on, one on each door. I have That's one. more than your Sylvia. Yeah. How many does your Sylvia have? Two. Oh. I only have one of them, I think there's going to be none. Yeah. So it's 15, right? It's actually got cup holders. Someone's had a go at polishing the headlights. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to do those. The paint around it as well, if you can oh, see that. Yeah, that's what that's from. Yeah, so I have a go at fixing that. If you have any NCMX5 parts and you want to help out, hit us up if you want to donate them to us. Anything that's going to add value to the car that would really help make more profit to donate to Movember. Um, but yeah, if you want to support, just like and share this video. It'll help get the channel out. Any, we don't make money on YouTube yet. If we do make money on any of these videos that you see, I'll donate that earnings to Movember as well. Um, and Sam and I are also trying to grow Mo's. So mine's <laughs> like more accessible than the other. Yeah, yeah, I can't grow a Mo to save my life, so that's why I'm doing this. And Sam has got a better one. <laughs> I don't know what that looks yeah, like. Look good. Um, so yeah, if you want to check out, there's like a Movember app and stuff, if you want to check out our page, um, by the time you're seeing this video, I'll have updated it with photos of Sam's beautiful mug and the car and stuff. Um, Aaron was going to do November, but he was on autopilot when he shaved at the start of November and November and shaved it. And, and I can't grow a mower to save my life. He's so also, as soon as I was a week behind, uh, it was just going to be... You also really got an office bump job bump. where you kind of have to look a little bit tidy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you what can't you really see anything anyway because... Covers. Plastic covers, metal covers. Brace. Cross brace. Hmm. But. What do you no see, rust. Sam? <laughs> so For some far. reason. <laughs> yeah, because it's not a 1989 no, Cressida. Bit of surface rust. Bit of surface. We'll bomb that. What is that? It's a, oh, it's a drain from the soft top. Oh, yeah. We should probably make sure that those aren't blocked. Good idea. Shove your finger in there. Oh, that's, I think my pinky's bigger than the sway bar. Oh my god. I mean, all these... Handles nicely though. Yeah, they do, though. I mean, all like, the bushes and stuff look all good. Should we just Clean. get cracking into fixing it? Yeah. Bring, it, it. bring it down. Let's get onto what. Get onto what. Alrighty. Tell them what's happening, Sam. Man. Taking the rocker cover off. Try not to drop any more bolts. Nuts. More nuts. Nuts and bolts. It's still quite warm. Now, there we go. Yeah. A lot easier now. Moment of truth, people. I just canned you. Give that to you, my lovely assistant. Surprise, surprise, I can't see sh That shouldn't have that much play in that chain, though, eh? No, yeah, it's good. The won't be here, it'll be down there. We've had a look in there. Um, everything looks fine. Can't really tell with the VVT solenoid. Um, I don't fully know what actually causes the sound when it is the VVT solenoid. Um, but it's usually on startup, which this isn't. This is at a certain RPM it was doing it. And then after driving it, started doing it through most of the rev range. Um, so kind of an indicator of um, was a spun bearing. Yeah. Which is not ideal, but... So I was hoping it wasn't that, because I thought, you know, usually when you have what they call, what they call a rod knock, you can hear it when it's idling, because it's, it's still spun, so it's still going to frickin' be doing shit. Um, so that's why I was hopeful that it's not. However, 
I can't see anything wrong with the chain. I can't see down. It's quite like closed off in the cover. You can't see down far like you can on some cars. Um, and then after half an hour of digging the trawling the internet, found a video of someone with quite a similar sounding problem. At idle was fine. They revved it up. You can hear a loud knocking. And in the comments he said it turned out to be a spun bearing and a lot of people commented the same thing. So plan now, get it up in the air, pull the bottom tray off, have a look how hard it would be to get to the bottom of the engine. We're going to fix it, it'll be fine, I'm just kind of annoyed but I got the car cheap enough. We'll tell you at the end of the, the series how much we got and made and donated to charity obviously um, but I got it cheap enough that I could replace the engine in this thing and it would put the value of the car up and I'd still make profit. Um, so I'm kind of pissed off because it's going to be a harder fix but also I guess it's content and stuff right. Um, Trying to make himself feel better. I am, yeah. Inside I'm screaming but everything's fine. Everything is great. I've done harder things so. I've done bearings on a V10 Beamer so <laughs> that was fun. This will be nothing. Alright, up in the air, cover off. Check oh. how hard it's going to be to get to the bearings. And pull the filter off so Jack can take it to work and cut it open and see if there's any bearing material in yeah. there. So a surefire way to test if you've got a spun bearing or something wrong with engine internals, like that sort of thing. Um, if it's getting into the oil, you'll be able to see that in the filter straight away. Um, so. I've seen it before where as soon as you start hearing the sound of a spun bearing we've cut a filter open and there's bearing material all through it just very obvious that something is wrong with the bearings um, yeah. hopefully there's nothing in there and well, we can be stumped again is what yeah, it is I don't know at this point I'm pretty sure it is that so I'm just kind of hoping there is something in there so I can be like okay order bearings and then we just do it next weekend Is that working? Yeah. So we did this filter up. How do you step on Lego? <laughs> I like spun it a full quarter turn and it's still tight as hell. It's still tight. I still can't turn it by hand. Gone half a turn. Is it coming? Yeah, still. That's it for this episode. Went a lot worse than I was expecting. But everything's going to be great. Um, if it's the bearings, going to pull the engine out, rebuild the engine, probably increase the value of the car by quite a bit because we have a freshly rebuilt engine too. So, not the end of the world, just a lot more work. Shouldn't take too long. Hopefully, fingers yeah. crossed, touch wood. <laughs> as long as we can get the parts like in time I'm gonna cut the filter open and yeah as I said check that out if it's that I'll start ordering engine parts um, hopefully they turn up quickly and we'll pull the engine out next weekend <laughs> yeah as we said check out our November profile link will be in the description go check it out even if you can't donate just go have a look have a read through what they do um, and some of the resources that you can use if you're struggling, please talk to someone, reach out. Uh, we don't want to see people struggling with that kind of stuff. If you want to support what we're doing and see more of what we do, future builds, and if you haven't seen this build yet, go check that out on our channel and uh, like and subscribe and share the video and stuff would really help. As I said earlier, any profits made off this video, not that we make profits yet, but for some reason it starts making profit, I'll donate that to November as well. 
Um, yeah, and if this goes well, then we'll definitely do more of this. Even though um, it's not looking like this is going well, but <laughs> it's not actually that bad. I'm just a bit pissed off, but and not at the person I bought it off. It was completely my fault. I should have diagnosed it more. And I like I went into it buying it knowing there's something wrong, and it could have been any one of those things. I was hoping it was the easier one, but now we've dug into it more. I'm leaning towards it's the less easier one. So yeah, that's on me, but I think we'll still make profit. Probably be about a thousand bucks to rebuild the engine, and we'll still be in it for well under what they're worth. So all will be great. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, and see you next time with what's actually wrong with this thing. Cheers. I don't really put much soul in it. It's like I don't think, I don't think that I'm with it. I'm on that pro team. You'll be calling that Olympic. They see me rolling. Look at me in there, I'm sunning. Peter, 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 Peter Pop, will I?